Shalom. This is the brother Derek from the Detroit camp. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem of Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and who has the 100% truth. This is for the whole free elect of Israel, which are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Also, you speckled birds that scattered across the four corners of the earth that's mingled within the other nations that may look like the other heathen nations. If this word resonates with you, then your lineage go back from your father's side to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the true Hebrew Israelites in which the Bible speaks of. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah is He, Yahweh. He is, He exists. The name of His only begotten Son is Yahweh Shai. Yah is He, Yahweh Shai, the Savior, the Deliverer. So like, name is only begotten son of Yahweh Shai. Yah is he, Yahweh Shai, the Savior, the Deliverer. And our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, is whom we are waiting for to come in these last days. And we are most definitely in the last of the last days. It's going to be a short, a very short lesson. And it's in reference to something I seen yesterday, okay, throughout the, uh, known, uh, in the city that I'm in. And it was a sign and uh, images on a person's porch and it read, fuck Putin, okay? And it had the flag and all of this, that, and the third, you know? And uh, this is what this lesson is based on because it's showing the pride of Esau, okay? So, Psalms 37, 28, for the Most High Yahweh, in all caps, love and judgment, and forsake it not his saints. They are preserved forever. But the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. Okay. But the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. So let me get to the scriptures. Okay. Starting with the um, book of Job 27 13. This is the portion of a wicked man with the most high Yahweh and the heritage of oppressors. Okay, which they shall receive of the Almighty. Okay, who is the oppressor? Esau, Edom, self proclaimed white men, the rich and elite bacon families. Who did they oppress? The southern kingdom and the northern kingdom. Okay, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the heritage of Yahweh and Yahweh. Okay, that's who you, they oppress. Okay, Jeremiah 50 and 33. Both kingdoms were oppressed over here together. Just pull it up and read it for yourself, okay? This is the portion of a wicked man with the Most High Yahweh and the heritage of oppressors, okay? Which they shall receive of the Almighty, okay? So you got judgment coming. The wicked man is Esau, Edom, the rich and elite bacon families, the father of the Edomites. There's no escape from judgment. Joel 27, 11. I will teach you by the hand of the Most High Yahweh. That which is with the Almighty will I not conceal. Okay? So this is the conversation that uh, Job is having, okay? <clears throat> Ecclesiastes 3, 1 and 2. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Okay? And, what, and what's been planted? That wicked. The, that wicked seed, okay, Esau, Edom, okay, and it's time for his rulership to be over with, and we see those things happening, Psalm 37, 28, 29, for the most high Yahweh love and judgment, and forsaken not his saints, they are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off, okay, the righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever, we are seeing this wicked kingdom of Esau, Edom, Job 9, 24, being isolated and cut off by the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles by the way of Russia. Okay? Ezekiel 38 and 10. The said, the Most High Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, power, it shall, come, it shall also come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. The Most High Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, has put an evil thought in the mind of, uh, 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 of Russia, Putin. Okay? 
to bring back that Russian warrior spirit, okay? And you see these things, okay? Ezekiel 38 and 10, that said, the only father you have power. It shall come, also come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. The most high Yahweh stirs the mind of Putin to bring back that former warrior spirit that Russia once had. And they will be used to take this place down. And if you ever do your research, look up Red Army, okay? I'm going to give you a piece of it. Okay, the United States and Great Britain was barely on speaking terms with Stalin's communist regime. But both eventually joined forces with the Reds because they share a common enemy. Any man or state who fights on against Nazism will have our aid. Winston Churchill told the British people in a radio address, okay? A radio address. The fighting on the Eastern Front was terrible and incessant. Brutal beyond belief, both sides fought with demonic fury. The Germans to crush the hated Slavs and the Soviets to defend the sacred soil of Mother Russia. Atrocities including beheadings and mass grapes occurring daily. Millions of captured soldiers died of exposure and maltreatment. The Germans besieged Leningrad and tried to subdue it by starving its entrapped people. The people are proud, okay? You people are proud, okay? You make plans for your future. You boast with signs that say, Bluck Putin, okay? And that's your attitude, okay? That's your attitude, okay? That was back then, but this is now, okay? Ecclesiastes 8 and 6, because to every purpose there is time and judgment. Therefore, the misery of man is great upon him, okay? We are in that time of judgment right now, people. Ecclesiastes 3, 1 and 2. To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. That we can see that was planted is Esau, Edom, the rich and elite begging families, the simple claim white men, the wicked, the Bible speaks about. It will be plucked up out of the earth and destroyed. There's no escape for the wicked Esau, okay? The simple claim white men, the rich and elite begging families, there's no escape for you, okay? You will no longer pass down all the godly things, the goodly things to your children, okay? You will no longer pass down all the goodly things to your children and what you got enough the blood, sweat, and tears of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the true Hebrew Israelites in which the Holy Scriptures speak about. Okay, those days are coming to an end. Job 27, 14 through 15. If his children be multiplied, it is for the sword, and his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread. Those that remain of him shall be buried in death. And his widows shall not weep. You and your posterity, okay, will be judged in that day when Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai visits you, okay? And that day is coming. It's upon us. Job 27 and 15. Those that remain of him shall be buried in death, and his widows shall not weep. Even you, your women will be glad for your demise, Esau. They will be glad, okay? Job 27 16. So you heap up silver as the dust and prepare raiment as the clay. No matter how much stuff you heaped up and put in your bunkers, it won't be for you. you no, know, won't be for you. It will be for the elect of Israel. Okay. Joel twenty-seven and seventeen. He may prepare it, but the just shall put it on, and the innocent shall divide the silver. Okay. This is your fate. Everything that you have gathered up to use in that day. For your survival will be for the elect of Israel. Okay? So you remember this. Why are you doing your wickedness? That's why this man knows he got but a short time. And that's why he's getting ready to come down. Because the prophets are out there preaching and teaching the 100% truth of the doctrine of the Holy Scriptures. Prophesy. Let them, let them know this place is coming down. You're seeing it. Because a prophet means, prophesy means to say before, okay? We are the prophets of old. We are back prophesying the downfall of this kingdom. As in Jeremiah. Matter of fact, let me get that, then I'm going to end it. Okay? So, 
Looks like it. Let's see. Yeah, my 28 and 8, and it reads, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of all prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. The prophets have proph that prophesied of peace. When the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Most High Yahweh have truly sent, sent them, okay? So those who prophesy of peace, we're not in the time of peace. Okay, we're in a time of war. We're in a time of pestilence, plagues, destruction. Okay, you see that because this place, Babylon, the great spiritual Solomon, Egypt, aka America, is being isolated as we speak. You, if you're watching the news, okay, you see Russia, Ukraine, okay, you got you got that land over there in the, in the so-called Middle East, I Israel. You got the Houthis in the Red Sea. You got Iran that's involved. All these point to those thermonuclear missiles hitting this place. This place is being isolated. Okay, you got Russia. You got China. You know, you see these things happening, okay? And you're, and you're being told these things before it happened, okay? But if you're not heeding, then you will be destroyed on the side. That's why this is only for the elect of Israel, not you two thirds and not you either nations, not Esau or Edom. Because that destruction is coming, okay? Once they make uh, uh, make it mandatory, Revelation 13, 16, to see him, you know, if it, you, you have to receive it subdermally, under your skin, and if you do that, you're going to be destroyed by those thermonuclear missiles and by the concentrated fire coming out the chariots of the heavenly father, Yahweh by Shemya Hamashai, which you people ignorantly call UFOs and UAPs. That destruction is coming to you, okay? And that's in Revelation 14, 9 and 10, okay? Because you bow down to the system, okay, in which the proud Edomites proclaim that they're going to continue in their wickedness here, okay? But they're going to be destroyed. Along with the heathen, and also along with you two thirds, okay, who go against the things that are written, you know. So with that, you know, the water to your heart by some your house, that's for allowing me to bring this out. I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakudash, double honor to the apostles and elders of great mercy, who rule well. And with that, Shalom.